Hello Collectives and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, okay? So what I'd like to do is to do another reading on Kamala. And actually I'm going to do this reading in two parts using two divination systems. So the, the main question that I will be addressing here is, how did Mrs. Harris feel when chosen for the presidency and what's going to be the outcome of those actions okay I've decided today to use the rich witch modern witch tarot deck in order to convey your message okay we're going to start off as usual with an overarching theme and then I'll just select a few additional cards to provide more specifics and we'll see a potential outcome should Ms. Harris continue, continues on as she is or has been. If you like this reading or if it resonates, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that like and subscription button, okay? So let's see. what messages would you like to share with me with regards to this situation? What messages would you like for me to share with regards to the situation? Okay. I'm going to pull three cards here from the bottom. We have seven of wands. Okay. Next card we have is the Three of Cups. Okay. And the last card we have here is the Nine of Pentacles here. So we're basically looking at her emotions and, you know, the actions that she's going to take based on those feelings here. Okay. So we see there the center card, there's the Three of Cups, ladies and gentlemen. So it certainly shows that she was overjoyed and she definitely celebrated and it even perhaps had a party or threw a party, I'm getting. It seems that she felt very courageous with just looking at the cards blending them all together. And she felt success could be reached within her candidacy. She felt she had to be clear on matters and to be courageous here. She felt she could certainly be, a, be an excellent advocate when it comes to defending those who uh, life has been muted or the disenfranchised. It looks like for her, morality is a big deal that I'm kind of getting with her. I feel that, of course, we're looking at this seven of wands here, so it certainly shows she's in a position of power of advantage here. So, and it also shows too, ladies and gentlemen, that whatever challenges that arise or disputes, it looks like she'll just simply take the balls by its horns or by the horns, if you will. And I'm saying here just to, you know, give you more information with this three of cups, she certainly very happy that this opportunity was extended to her and I do believe that it was already in the works anyway and this was how it was supposed to happen okay even on the last reading when I had asked which party is likely to win I still feel it's going to be the Democrats who will be the victor okay but I knew that at some point Trump I mean not Trump but Biden would take a break I didn't think it would be that soon though Okay. I feel that she even celebrated, you know, her candidacy with this card. And it looks like she even invited family, had family gatherings and other um, festive occasions. It looks like she really tried to spend time, ladies and gentlemen, with people who made her feel very, very good about herself. You know, despite the challenges, you know, really that's cropping up for her. Okay. And with this nine of pentacles here, she's gracefully picked up the gauntlet here. And she feels that this 
opportunity will make her feel not only independent, but she she certainly could achieve the success that she's seeking, you know. And she feel that the offer that was extended was something that she well earned and is well deserved. Okay. Let's go on and select a few more cards here to just get more specifics. Okay, we have the chariot, ladies and gentlemen. The next card we have is the lovers. Let's select a few more cards. We have the four of swords. Be more so the center card here. And we have the nine of swords, ladies and gentlemen. And last but not least, we have the Four of Wands, which is the outcome here. The outcome appears to be very happy, doesn't it? Okay. So, with that Four of Swords here, and I'm starting with this center card here. With this Four of Swords being there, I feel that she took the necessary respite that was needed after having um, gained this opportunity to recharge her batteries or... She got a way to think about her possibilities, I'm feeling. But in the beginning, it seems that she was a, she was a little bit stressed out, you know? And then looking at those three cards there that we have, we have the, the check, we have the love, well, it's more than three, huh? So we have the, the chariot, the lovers, the nine of swords, and the four of wands there. So it looks like that she knows deeply in her soul that this will be a major race or challenging it seems like like i said destiny is at course here and she'll need to take her hands off it. and she's certainly committed ladies and gentlemen that's a good thing she feels just again as i've indicated in other reading that if she perseveres and take the correct initiative she will be victorious but i feel that this reading is kind of suggesting that she'll certainly need to control her. Um, she seems to be very emotive and intuitive, so she'll need to control her emotions. I feel that after being selected, she's been, you know, having sleepless nights because this is a big deal and it's also a dream come true here, okay? But altogether, ladies and gentlemen, she appears to just be a very, very anxious person. And as an outcome here, we have this four of wands. This card is a good card here because it's all about success, power, structure, uh, stability, and she achieving a good goal here. It's a commemor commemorative event. It's prosperity, it's celebration. So I'm fully convinced that she's going to win, and that looks like that's going to be Biden there joining her to help her with her victory or some other political official is going to be there to help. It could be Obama. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reading. I certainly hope that it has offered food for thought. The next reading I will be doing, I will be using my enormous cards and just I'm just curious to see will the same um, type of answers will come out or if we could get anything else more specific. If this reading resonated or you simply like it, be sure to Give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that subscription button, okay? Should anyone wishes to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly access my website to schedule and or to purchase a reading. There is currently an active $15 coupon with which you can apply to any other reading shown there or to one more customized. Have a blessed day.